Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. This is you right now. What's that? Just, I don't know. I'm just, I was just working on that. Ah, oh, Phil. I think just working is... <laughs> <laughs> God, there's so much yeah. going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah. You know, when you're going, I mean, it's the same. I, I, don't, every, I swear to God, every, every week's the same freaking topic. Yeah. Yeah. People get <laughs> to know your cost, please. <laughs> I, I beg of you. I, I, I beg of you. Uh, right. Or, you know, I got, I'll, so I'll tell you just so I can get this off my, cause it's, it's just yeah. right in the, center of my brain right oh, now. Oh, no. By the time the distributor takes their, their percentage, yeah. and the OIs, the off invoice, to these retailers yeah. of no size, you know, I've got margins that potentially could start at 55 work down to 45 okay 43 after after a, a distributor cut and okay. by the time the retailer's done with it down to 25 26 okay that's how bad the discounts are wow wow that's bad which leaves you with what nothing right think of the overhead the holding yeah, of the inventory nothing. like all that yeah. stuff right yeah. what does it leave you with mm, not not anything. You know what I mean? Barely anything, actually. Well, really, and I know people might think that's obscene and that's a big margin, but you know, ideally, you know, after after the retailer and the distributor get through with you, like if you can sit at 39, 38, into the forties, it's nice. Yeah. But when you're into the twenties, like mid to you're it's just no. You're, my well, God, you're, your overhead's 15, 16 percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic overhead. Then you got all the other shit that goes with it. Yeah. I mean, you're you're, ne- you're going to be getting close to negative returns. Yeah, yeah. It well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're one promotion away from basically making nothing. Well, exactly. Well, and that's the problem right now. Yeah. These these OIs have been in place for so long. All the retailers have forgotten. Yeah. So they're asking for additionals. Yeah. Can I get an extra fifteen? Can I get an extra ten? I think. Where do you want us to be? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I gotta make something out of this. Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> no, it's, anyway, that's 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 just where my frustration wow. is. Just like right now, like wow. oh my god, like oh my god. Oh man, that's uh, oof. it's unfortunate. Ah, it is what it is, right? But it's just yeah. it's one of those things. Like, I mean, seriously, if you're a small person out there, yeah, you, you know, make sure you understand like really what. Where, where that what the dis, what discounts you're getting you're 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 losing yeah so if you're selling at ten dollars and your and your distributor is going to take twenty five that leaves you seven fifty yep right if you're yep. if you're re, if your retailers are getting a twenty five di- discount off invoice also remember that's off the first ten so now you take the seven fifty you give to the distributor the other two fifty you're down to five dollars if you are working at a fifty margin you are just you're a break even now. And you haven't done anything. Well, you haven't done anything and you won't do anything. You can't do anything. Like, I mean, no. you'll be, you can't have another expense, no. which means you're not getting paid. No. You don't pay your lights. You don't pay your phone. No. You don't pay your no. cable. You don't pay any no. employees. You pay nobody. Yeah. Because every yeah. penny after that now is a loss. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's a pretty, it's pretty, uh, that's not good, eh? No, it's not great. It's not good. Yeah, it's not even good. It's just terrible. Yeah. 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 But I, f- I feel bad too, right? Like I feel bad. I, I mean, I guess that's why we do what we do too, right? Is uh, 100%. I, you know, I feel bad because people, you know, people do some pretty amazing magic things out there and then, you know. And I don't even think it was, it was purposeful. Yeah. I feel it was one of those, I don't think they, I don't think, again, yeah, they just don't know. Right? Just, you know what? You yeah. see, you see the, 
the yeah. the check come in and you're kind of good and i think by the yeah. time you catch it all it's yeah. a year end or whatever and you're thinking holy crap but i, but I sold a million dollars or i sold uh, you know two million dollars or i yeah. sold 500 grand how did i end up with taking a loss yeah i mean it's a it's a it's an interesting illusion right it no it's not interesting if you're one of these people it's not interesting like that but um <clears throat> the illusion of cash flow and the illusion of you know, that, that you're moving product, you're moving volume doesn't necessarily mean you're pocketing profit, right? Like you really, exactly. need, you need to do the math, right? Like you but really, you need to down, like, you, like you just, like the cash flow word was the yeah. other word I had with, uh, with one of our friends today Yeah, that you got to sit down and put it on a spreadsheet. Don't make, you don't have to make it into a, yep. a complicated, but yep. start, what's your revenue? Yep. You know, and I said, you should probably do it this way, like units times, um, the cost of the, whatever you're selling yeah. it to and then start ripping your expenses out. And yeah. I said, then change the units. Yeah. Pretend you did have a spike. What does cash flow look like? Yeah. And person said, well, I'd be up. I said, yeah, your revenue will be up, but you also had to produce now to, to match that revenue. What happened to what happened to production? Mm -hmm. You might've had to do, you know, you might've sold a hundred thousand dollars worth of product, mm -hmm. but you had to make 125,000 hit your minimum. Yeah. So you're actually in a negative cash flow that month. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. It might be. Yeah. Right? It might be. Might be yeah. fine. I mean, you, you know, you might have money in the bank because the last two months you haven't produced. Yeah. So you did a hundred thousand each of those months. Yeah. You know, less you your cost okay. of goods, less yeah. your expenses. You might have pocketed twenty five yeah. grand a month. Yeah. So by the time you get to the third month and you had a hundred twenty five thousand dollar order, uh, like your order that you need to put through your manufacturer. Yeah. Okay. Well, you might be okay. You might have yeah. enough to sort of cover, but if you're not paying attention to that, no, you know, it's like you get yeah. into a cash flow crunch. Yeah. And, you, and then one day you realize, like, oh, I'm I'm tapped out. I can't pay for things. Or exactly. You know, gosh, like, how do I buy inventory? You know what? There's a rotating Canada Post mail strike going on. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? Where is my check, right? It's in the mail somewhere. It's actually in the mail, right? Like, and, and you know, and that could be a legit to your point. Yeah. So let's say it's a net 30 yeah. that you're getting from your retailer. Yeah. But you're, you know, you're at a net 20 with your manufacturer. Well, that means you're 10 days out of pocket. Yeah. If you don't have the cash flow to manage that 10 day gap. Yeah. It's, it's, it's problematic. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not, it, like you said, it's not hard. It's, 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 it's really a spreadsheet. And I actually recommend when you do the revenue that you actually do a projected or forecasted units against, you know, whatever the, whatever your sell price is going to be yep. so that if you do say, okay, I know that typically four months from now, I'm going to get a massive spike in unit out yep. because then you got to go to your, your yeah. outlay side and, and yeah. maybe the month before impact an outlay out from you to your manufacturer. Yeah. Right. Cause you're going to have an, ex you're going to have inventory that you had to buy. Yep. Are you ready for that inventory? Can you yep. afford that inventory? I guess is what I what you're yeah. more or less getting at. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, and it's funny cause I th was the last episode of the episode I was bitching about cash flow and having to do all my books and, and math and everything. And uh, as much as I bitch about it, right. Like the, the truth is you, you gotta do it. Like you, 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 um, you know, after all that complaining I did, like I have, you know, at least, you know, every six months or so, right? Like I, I stop in, I do the books, right? I bitch about it, you know, like <laughs> I'll bitch about it with Kenny. Yeah. And then, but, but at least then I've got a real comfortable feel. So the next time something changes, you know, I know, you know, I kind of have a ballpark of acting accordingly, right? Because exactly. And for you and I, let's say, because, you know, so people understand this works. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you're manufacturing for our side what you have to be cognizant of, or when I do a cash flow or Phil does, yeah. my expenses would be income tax. Yeah. Let's say the government wants a quarterly yeah. from me yeah. or it's GST or HST or whatever the hell it is, yeah. Yeah. is that, you know, you know, you're getting, you know, 10 grand a month, five grand a month, whatever. But on month three, when you have to pay, do, do you have, have the funds yeah. to pay whatever? Um, it's not revenue Canada anymore, whatever. Uh, Canada, yeah, no, Canada, CRA, right? Canada, Canada, Canada Revenue, Revenue Agency or whatever the hell it's called yeah. now. But you, yeah. but you know, you've got to manage yeah. your world of cash flow to make yeah. sure you can cover those expenses. Yeah. It's the same thing. Pretend that's inventory. 
Yeah, I, yeah, Are it's no different. I mean, if it. I made if I made boxes and I printed product or whatever it, it is, right? But but it's it's literally exactly that, right? It's so, exactly that, and it's yeah. not a complicated thing. It's a yeah. twelve month columns, yeah, month on top. What you yeah. expect to bring in? What do you expect your outlays yeah. of cash to be? Yeah, and if you can kind of do that and again, you know, the one person we talked to today, I'm not going to embarrass this person because they're they're killing it. So you'll know who I'm talking about killing it killing it to the point where you're outselling what you have a problem that most people would give their left oh, arm yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. right yeah. killing it let's repeat yeah. the word killing it. okay <laughs> but that doesn't mean you don't have to manage your cash flow no yeah you right actually in that you know in that situation you actually want to manage your cash flow more right because you're Absolutely. you're inclined to run hot right like you know when when you're you know when you're an entrepreneur you're, you kind of run like hot cold on cash you know you develop instincts right so you realize yeah. like i'm flush with cash right like I, I gotta i gotta run advertising i gotta do stuff like that but it's that moment that you gotta watch right because you gotta know exactly what your buffer is right otherwise exactly. you know you really do you you spend it and then next month you're like oh my god i'm sure why am i oh because i completely overestimated what my surplus was and i forgot and I, or i yeah. didn't forecast like in this situation yeah. what happened is is again killing it yeah because a massive <laughs> po came in unexpectedly and that's of a size easy. that's not normal yeah that you can't plan for no Right. And what you don't want to do now is build inventory against that. Yeah. Like so far yeah. out. Yeah. If you want to kind of, again, because what you're going to do is you're going to deplete every ounce of cash you have now. And yeah. next month or the next two months, when you need to do advertising or retailers are coming to you for, you know, Jan, Feb, March yep. deals where they want something, yeah, yeah. you're, you're yeah. tapped out. You got nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So again, it's just, it's, it's not, it's not That's rocket wild. science, but it does, yeah. it, it does require a little bit of discipline and, and, yeah. And, yeah, that, that shitty sit down where you're doing some admin. Although, see, that doesn't, to me, that's not really admin. That's really. No, no. That's just that's having a grip plan on your plan business, plan. right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. just, you got to have a grip on your business. That's all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And sometimes, like I said, this one, this one wasn't, this is all, po this, that particular one's all positive. Yeah. It's just, I mean, the person got hammered on a, on an order that honestly you couldn't foresee. No, coming. no, yeah, but but and you so want who cares at that point? I mean, that's mean. literally that's the problem everybody dreams about. Right? Exactly, that's the dream yeah. problem. I mean, shit. Yeah, yeah those, those are the ones. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like you be easier. Those are the ones you wake up and you're 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 crying tears of joy, thinking, "Wow, I, I didn't even do anything and I got the order. What the yeah. hell happened?" Yeah. Right. I, uh, the ones you cry about, yeah. like you're gonna say, you know, you have it for four months waiting for the order, right? And you're sitting on a hundred grand of inventory that's not moving. That's a problem. Yeah. I, I've got, I've got one of those. I'm not going to make anything from her and I, I don't, I don't plan to, but, but I just, uh, I feel bad for her. She, she spent a ton of cash on, you know, those, um, you know, those brain supplements, like, like not yeah. the, keto set but like the you know take the supplement and and you'll be smarter like or an old school ginkgo mix yeah yeah yeah, yeah. kind of one of those whatever you know, except i don't actually understand what's in the product even um no, you know no, like it's one of does the, anybody else probably yeah. so yeah yeah so so she invested a ton of cash in this she went straight to amazon put it on amazon um she's amazon uh fulfilled you know so she's got a warehouses and the whole bit and um She's not selling a single thing. Like she's just like not I selling. sold three units, four units. You know, say so, you know. So when she came to me, she was in dire straits. Right? She said, "Listen, like, what can you do for me?" So I said, "I started looking at her stuff, and you know, she's got, but she's got nothing. Like she's got no organic um, audiences. She's got. She really struggled to tell me who her audience was. She was like, "Well, this is for anybody." I'm like, "I can't. No, like I'm not a magician, right? I can't sell yeah. to anybody. But, but, right? but nobody buys that way." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything you is know. for everybody. Every car is yeah. for everybody. Yeah, you, you got to tell me, you know, what, like, what is the plan, right? Like, what is, you know, and then, <laughs> you know, and then, like, I'm asking her, she's making it. Like, I can tell she's making it up as she goes, right? Because she's panicking now. Yeah. So, you know, I said to her, all right, like, I, I really, I was trying not to get too far into it because I don't, I don't really buy into the product even, but I felt bad. So I said to her, like, 
look at, so lay it all on the line for me. Like how long do you have, you know, how long do you think you could stay in this? How long do you want to stay in this? Right? Like before you get a bail. And she said, look, like Amazon's now said to me, I have excess inventory. Yeah. Now they're they're wanting payment. Yeah. You know, or you're going to have to take it out in January. So I was like, all right, so you got what, six weeks, you know, ish. Yeah. You know, and (laughs) like, okay. And then how long do you have? And she said, oh, I don't know. And I said, no, no, you like, you know, this is the diametric opposite uh, uh, opposite of your friend, your person who's like hot, hot, crazy, killing it, right? Like this is the not killing it. But I said to her, okay, the very first thing you have to decide is how long can you stay in? So mathematically, how long do you want to stay in it? So how long can you hang onto this inventory and kind of wait around to see if your marketing works, your whatever works? Um, and then when is your kind of like pull the plug moment? Um, you know, like, are you panicking now? Are you just desperate now? Like we're, we're, you know what I mean? Like, right. So yeah, it was, just, it was really terrible. Like we, uh, I feel bad cause I, I was almost like we were doing contingency planning. Yeah. It was just like, all right. You know, so she finally said to me, listen, like, I think I've got till about April. And then he said, okay, so what happens after she goes, well, I don't know. I literally like I I don't. She said I don't know if I have enough funds to keep anything going past April. Yeah, but did, you're not losing your house here, are you? Like, or is it? Are we just talking like you know losing? What? Like she's talking or? about losing a lot. Yeah, like like thousands. You know, like a good chunk of some retirement. You know, money that she had, and I was like, what? You know, so I said to her, like, so so she said, what can you do? And I said, I I don't have enough time to do anything, right? Because like organic anything, whether it's social media marketing, marketing, Google marketing, search engine marketing, everything takes time, right? Like you can't, you can't, um, you just can't build it like that, right? What's so the expiry said, date on the product? Um, I, I don't know if there like is one. Years. Yeah, I think it's got a couple of years, right? I mean, the only other thing you do is you get on the yeah. blower and, and you find someone that's going to buy it at 10 or 15 cents, 20 cents on yeah. the dollar. Yeah, yeah. So I recommended that. She kind of like, hmm. So, and you know, the other, other thing you can do is, you know, like someone like Kent, um, who has like kind of that, like superhuman SEO skills, do you know, like, you know, to write you just, you know, a whole set of bitch ass ads. And then, you know what I mean? Like, like maybe you shorten your run. Yeah. You have to pay a shitload of money for that. Yeah. Yeah. You would. You're already tapped. Well, and I said to her, I don't know if you can afford him, right? Like, like, honestly, you know, Kent's like one of those, like, he's probably one of the top 10 SEO marketers in the world, if not in North America, do you know? Like, okay, so what are you going to pay for that? I, a lot. For a small project, like, 10, 15, 20 grand. Yeah, yeah seriously. probably 10 grand-ish, right? Like, so, you know, but I said to her. On a closeout guy. Yeah, so, so that's what I said to her is like, I think that's the choice. But the only thing is it might be worthwhile because if you can go to Kent and say, Hey, listen, like, um, it's going to cost me 10 grand. What can you, th- what do you estimate you can throw in the top of my funnel? If the answer is going to be anything above 15,000 leads, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You convert 1% of that. Is it worthwhile? But I said, I, you, you've got to do that for a long time to be able to convert back. Yeah, Phil, you're um, running out of time. Back, to, oh, yeah. No, I totally get it. Right? Like, those are, those are good when you're uh, when you're thinking about producing the product, not yeah. when you're not when you have Amazon saying. So listen, we've had it yeah. for too long. Yeah, right. The time to do that, and this yeah. is you know again, we're and, and trust me, I, I've I've done this, and I've and I've yeah. you know I've I've lost things because poor planning. Yeah, poor planning. Yeah, you know I don't like business plans either. I don't like spending a lot of time doing them. Yeah, but there's a reason why, why you, you should it. even yeah. on a business at least. Yeah. Like the, what you what you ask this person is pretty critical. Who is the market? Yeah. Who do you think the market is? Yeah. How big is that market? If everything went perfect, yeah. yeah. And then sit down and again do the little bit of the cash flow sort of yeah. um, spreadsheet. Yeah. It'll tell you right away whether you can do this once you start yeah. figuring out your yeah. market. And you estimate okay if I sell yeah. ten units a month yeah. at a hundred dollars, I make a thousand dollars. It's cost me two thousand dollars a month to do that. Yeah. Okay, brought in a thousand, spent two. Is that a good move? Yeah. Rocket science. I anyway, not. I I feel bad. I feel bad for. I feel bad for everybody like that. I feel bad. Yeah. I've done it. Listen, yeah. I, I she's not the only one. This is not. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's not. Know. Uh, that's typical entrepreneur. Yeah. At, anyway. at the beginning, that that's unfortunately how 
you know, and everybody does at least one, at least one, probably two. And on the third one, you kind of think, shit, you know, there's got to be a better way. Yeah. <laughs> and then you start doing the yeah, proper yeah. work, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And the thing is, again, because a lot of times what happens, people forget that a product does, does, you know, it doesn't make a business. A product's a product. Yeah, it's true. A that's business true. is a business. Yeah, and you, so you got a cool product. That's, who cares? That's true. Make it yeah. into a business. Yeah, man. Um, switching gears a little. I had, uh, I had Kent in my office today. I saw the office. picture on the LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, I know Kent's going to listen to this. Um, so I, I will tell him that I, I've never seen my class so captivated ever. They were just like, he was on fire. Um, Kent was being Kent. Like, that's awesome. You know, yeah. He was just, um, he was on fire. He, he lit the whole class up. He was talking, uh, you know, like true SEO, um, things they got to think about, things they got to do. Um, yeah, he was, he was on fire. They were fast. Still haven't looked for the keto bar for me. Still haven't done shit for the poor guy. Uh, yeah, I can see mine. Sorry, Kent. Yeah. I just, you know what? And honestly, can Kent, it's on the list. It just, it's so stupid. It's just, can I still eat these? Oh, probably. Have, but we were, you know, supposed have. to find a manufacturer, kind of take a look to see if we could get this one for him. And it's, you know. But now I feel the, bad that I didn't even eat one yet. Sorry, Kent. Don't tell him that. Why do you have to do that? I just did. I just, uh, oh, but it's Ken. You just said, oh, there's my rapper. Uh, well, no, cool. no, I, but I, uh, we're on YouTube now. So if I do. Well, that's too late now, dummy. You kind of. <laughs> Before you grab some, oh my God, there's my and, empty wrapper. Yeah, we love you. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you know yeah. what? I'm going to send your keto bar to Linda Webb. <laughs> That's what we should do. Linda will probably get her shit Linda, to you. Linda, Linda, this bar. Yeah. Can, can you make that or find somebody? Because <laughs> <laughs> the two guys doing the podcast are apparently yeah, just no, way no, too busy. No, we're just to clowns. It. You know, here, Linda Webb, Honestly. meet Kent Fenwick. Um, God. <laughs> That's so bad, so bad. Well, I'm Ken. I'm really sorry. Ken, uh, I feel I'm sorry too. Like I do. I sincerely apologize. I mean, it's just it's there's no excuse. I just we well we have I just haven't done it. Or he hears this episode. Yeah, I just haven't done it. Yeah, he's uh he's left Hubba now, so he's he's got some time on his hands. So he might actually take some time to hunt us down. So uh, you know what? I wish he would, and maybe it's you know what, and looking for, and we should actually finally. You know, between the three of us, there's got to be half an ounce of brains in that mess <laughs> to come up with something. He would hope. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh yeah, 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 man. What's uh, what's going on with you? Ah, it's, it's been uh, it's been good. It's been it's been uh, yeah, it's been it's been it's like you. It's been busy. I mean, it's been a yeah. full week of of stuff. I, I'm just, seriously. I'm, I'm after this. It's back onto the spreadsheets. Yeah. Yeah, right, because yeah. I'm trying to go through. I've got to figure these rebate. I got to figure these uh, OIs, these yeah. off invoice uh, charges. Okay. okay, and basically, you know, uh, for example, one of the problems is going to be I need a cost increase, or I got to get rid of all the OIs, and ideally, I need both. Yeah. Okay. Think law of laws. How's that going to work? Dead end. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. So, so you know, for the audience, uh, um, OI is an off invoice. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a form of discount. So sometimes they take it in percentage in most cases, you know, if, especially I think with traditional grocer, they take uh, they take, you know, penny profit or penny, penny. It depends off. on what it is. You know, yeah. Right. This one's because to a distributor, it's a percentage off, but okay. I'm also got to, I'm, I'm trying to manage the distributors yeah. um, uh, margin as well. Right. Yeah. 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 So anyway, it's, it's, yeah. it's not, it's just not going to be fun. So yeah. it might be one of those ones. I'll just have to figure out how to, how to manage blah, blahs. Maybe what we'll have to do is we won't be able to get a price increase. I already know that. Yeah. But maybe yeah. we'll just have to cut the, um, cut the rebates. Yeah. The OIs and just say, listen, you know what? I mean, we can give you some, but I, I can't give you the percentage you're getting now. Yeah. Cause it's out of that. We just stop shipping. Yeah. Right. I mean, which would be, which would be not good either because you lose your, you know, some ACB or some, some uh, all channel volume, but I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do? Right. Well, not the inside of that, or you leave it yeah. the way it is, but then I got to find 25 other accounts. Yeah. they are going to basically pay for that mess. Right. 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 Someone's got to, someone's got to, someone's got to yeah. pay. Yeah. 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 Right. You know what it's like? It's like <laughs> someone's got to pay. <laughs> 
Somebody gonna get hurt. Yeah, somebody gonna get hurt. Somebody gonna get hurt. Oh man, I've been uh, I've been working. Um, so I haven't been in sh- uh, spreadsheets. So I've I've been lucky that way. I've been doing keywords like crazy, but uh, but I've also been doing um, content planning. So I've got, oh, for what? Uh, I've got, well, into locate and I've been doing, um, you know, we're just looking at our whole year, right? I mean, this year was a lot of like filling content and, and kind of making sure there was stuff there that, you know, made us look knowledgeable. But next yeah. year is like, look, we're, we're at the end of the year. We're not writing any more ad hoc stuff. Like let's figure out what the plan is for next year. Yeah. Um, you know, and just start building a very cohesive plan. Um, so it's it's been it's been good brain work, you know, because I've I've got to sit down and think about what we want to, you know. She was telling me what she wants to achieve next year, um, you know. And you do a lot of like, you know, because entrepreneurs are all the same, right? We all, you know, you ask them what they want, and everyone says conquer the world, right? But you know, like we're not miracle makers, right? Yeah, so you tighten it up a little bit. Yeah, you got to parse it right down. So I figured out what what she wants and now I got to go figure out how to build it for her and and get her to, you know, all the right places and all the right kind of articles and then start scheduling all that stuff out and then figure out all the coverage for all that stuff, you know, it's a lot of work, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, right? Like, but it's, 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 um, it's really great brain work, right? So it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's really great. It's really great. Um, I didn't need experience too. I built a sales deck for somebody. Um, and I pitched the angle from a totally different angle than they were thinking about. Um, so uh, they make uh, this this brand makes um, dog shampoo. Um, you know, so they make they make like you know grooming grade you know dog shampoo. But her pitch, her pitch is more because the product is built for the human and not for the like it's built for the dog, but it benefits the human in that it's not abrasive, so it's really good for you know, the human shampooer skin right. for the hands uh, and stuff. So if you're yeah, yeah. 20 dogs, yeah, yeah. you know, so you I pitched it, I pitched it as a skincare product and not as a dog shampoo product. Oh, that's you know interesting. I mean? Yeah. You yeah. Went to the, you went completely with, I mean, yeah, uh, you did the, obviously it's safe for the animal who cares, but that's yep. a given. Yeah. Hey, it's also good for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And so just, she literally went, Oh shit. I always wanted to do it this way, but everyone said, I can't do it that way, but you found me a way to do it. I said, yeah, I mean, based on all the things you told me, this is what you wanted to do. So I've, I found you an angle, but now she's like, well, now I got to rethink the rest of my marketing pitch because I adjusted it all to be, you know, it's good for a dog because everyone said I couldn't sell it this way. Do you know what I mean? Like, so should have told her all you had to do is go to the stores. Remember mane and tail? Yeah. What yeah. was Mane and Tail about? Yeah. Mane and Tail was a shampoo for horses. Yeah. Yeah. That someone figured out, man, look what it does to the horse's mane and the horse's body. Yep. They started using it on themselves and thought, yeah, nah, this Holy stuff, crap, this stuff's forget crazy. for horses, man. This yeah. shit's good for people. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 And then charge the premium. Yeah. Premium. Yeah. Because I remember that Mane and Tail was probably in the old days, seven ninety nine, nine ninety nine. When a bottle of what, let's say, it was finesse was a buck ninety nine. Yep. Yep. And people were buying, especially the yeah. Asian market was going yeah. mental with yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Right. Because yeah. if it was safe for horses. Yep. Safe for the animal like that, and then look at you know when you see show horses. So I mean, if you think about, it, you tell us. I mean, the dog, absolutely, especially for a dog lover. Yeah. The dog owner. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Don't freak yeah. out on that kind of stuff. Yeah. No, but it's a great yeah. play. Yeah, yeah. And, and I love it. Like I love it because, you know, now she's she's had to, you know, stop and think, right? Like so she's doing the right thing. She said, like we had all these other things in the pipeline to do, and she said, Wait, wait, I need to stop, right? Because I need to rethink how I go about, you know, pitching this. And like, you know, I gotta look at my product, I gotta look at my packaging, make sure everything lines up before I go ahead because I really like this angle. I always wanted this angle, right? It's a cool angle. Um, yeah. And she doesn't have to deviate too far from what nope. she's doing. Yeah. It's still yeah. a really, really solid, obviously yeah. dog shampoo. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Don't, don't yeah. be scared of that part, but don't be yeah. scared to also say to your point. I mean, if you do a hundred yeah. dogs a week, yeah, it'd be nice at the end of the week, not to be, you know, yeah. bare bones. Be, you know, desert skin or anything. Exactly. Like that, right. So yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. huge. 
Yeah. So I'm kind of, you know, that's awesome. That's, that's, that's brilliant. the kind of thing, you know, you really love, you know, that's, like I, you know, that's what I love. Right. Cause that's just like, you know, that's, that's just us taking our stuff and being, that's exactly an accelerant, right? Like that's like, they already made the product. I didn't make the shampoo. Right. Like, but all I did was find them, uh, you know, a slightly different angle, a different perspective. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. All, it's and, and we know it works. Yeah. It's yeah, worked yeah. in the past for similar products. It'll work yeah. in the future for, for different products. That that's yeah. a great way to, yeah. Uh, I think that's brilliant. Yeah. So anyway, that's, cool you know, story. that's that was, fun, right? really cool. Yeah. But yeah, for content now, can you imagine writing the fifth article? Why this dog shampoo is oh, great yeah. for dogs. I like, know. Yeah. God help us. Like, seriously. I mean, seriously. God. It's a given. It's made for dogs. The whole yeah. it's gonna be safe for the dogs. Yeah. And if it's made by a pet owner, it's a given. Yeah. But if you can go down the oh, I think that's 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 yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So hey, you know smart so, guy. Ah, um, uh, you know, I try. Look at you. I try. I try. Look at you. I hope you get paid for all this one. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting paid for this one. <laughs> oh, okay, good one. Once in a while, right? Oh, but you know, okay, so so this is funny too. Like we're back to balancing the books a little bit, but um so we had we had this I had this moment because she's in the US, right? And so um, she said, how do I pay you? And I said, well, you can, um, I have PayPal. Do you want to pay me by PayPal? She said, I don't have PayPal. And I went, all right. So um, Wave, which we, we were talking about last time, yeah. right? I was raving about it, has a pay portal. But she oh. went there and she couldn't, there's something between her and I think she's with Chase in the US. And so Chase, the, her Chase cards don't work with Wave. So she's like, I can't pay by Wave. I'm like, all right. And so she said, but they said you should use um, Zell, Z-E-L-L, uh, Z-E-L-L-E, sorry, Zell. And I was like, all right. So she sent me this payment by Zell, and then I, Zell isn't available in Canada. I was gonna say folks, probably that. <laughs> you got people got to understand. Like, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't go back and forth, right? <laughs> That's awesome. So basically, you're doing it for free. So you're gonna get <laughs> yeah. Well, at well, the end of the know, day, but, you're but it's, pretending you know. to bill. You're not gonna get payment for it. <laughs> but 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 it is like to your point about cash flow, right? Like it's not, <laughs> like it, it's gonna take us six months days later. To figure out how oh, to like, paid? No, you know, not just, yet. Well, no, and like so, she said, "All right." So she's on the eastern seaboard. She got hit by a snowstorm. So she's like, "Okay." So when the snow clears. As soon as the snow clears, I will send you a check. And I said to her, I'm a Pony Express. Well, yeah. So she's like, I'll have to send it by snail mail. And I go, the snails got slower because up here, we got a strike. we've got a strike going on. So I'm not even sure that when you get to the post office, the post office might say to you, don't send it because Canada Post is now asking other that's countries that's not to send, that. right? So she's like, are you joking? And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. Like UPS or FedEx, send a right? check that like, way. You know, maybe you can Morris code me the, you know. That's awesome. <laughs> or telegraph it. That's awesome. Like, Jesus. Isn't that crazy though? It's crazy. The whole thing's crazy. It's just. Uh, Honestly. But, you but you know, like that's why you work out cash flow, right? Because yeah. then, you know, I, I know how much I've got, so I'm not sweating it, right? So if it does take us a couple of months to figure this out, it's I know she's looking for the cash. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Right? But, um, but yeah, you know. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Again, though, but, crazy. But people don't think of those things, right? No. no. You know, and like you said, so if you're 30 days behind on this one, yeah. you know, so I mean, what? listen, I, I, right now I've got an account and I'm yeah. not worried about it. I'm like, I'm, I, next week when I send the invoice, yeah. If a check hasn't come in, I'm seven months in arrears. Wow. That's okay, a long time. So, so when, do you, when do you... So I bill every month. I'm owed May, June, July, August, September, so, October. So when do you... But when do you pull the alarm bell on that? And how do you handle that? Like, so June I've never been the there. So... I know the people. I'm not worried so about not... You, I just... You know where they live the a bit. Yeah, it's not... Is this Jim not, and Lori? <laughs> no, no. Oh, Jim and Roy would never do that. If anything, you'd have to tell Jim and Roy not to pay on, on time. Come on. Have a little Italian yeah, Chinese know, blending. Right? You might like, like, just at least a couple days late. <laughs> I feel like those two would pay you early, actually. Oh, my God. They, yeah, and and they yeah. give you the cash discount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Not the criminals like we're all from. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 30 days. Net I'll pay in 60. Whatever. We're friends. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, Jim and Lori can't do that. They're way too nice. I know. They're those are good people. Those aren't they people are like you and I. People. No, no, those are nice people. No, they're they're nice quality people. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a whole different league yeah. of people. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no I, you, I would expect it from. I, I would do that. <laughs> no, not those two. Not those two. Uh, oh. So anyway, but that happens, right? But yeah. again, you know what? I know yeah. what my flow is. It's not, you know, we're not going to miss a meal. Seven months. Good. No. But, but so, okay. So. Well, that's not even some expensive. That's a couple. That's probably now 10 nights worth of hotels, three flights. Yeah. So when do you, I mean, but when do you worry? Like, so when do you worry? Like when do you. If it was, I guess I would do it this way. If it was someone I didn't know and I yeah. was really worried. Month two. Okay. Month two, I would probably stop working for him. Yeah. Or put the put the brakes on like, because I don't want right down until you see something. Yeah, and I know because what'll happen is because people don't think the challenge that, that you have when you're sort of quasi professional services, whether you're accounting, yep. law, law, consulting, yep. is that nobody thinks there's any like so there's no products. Well, what are you holding? Yeah, there's no inventory. There's you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, but you know intellectual property it needs to be paid for. Yeah. Right. Well, but but we're we're like every other business. We have bills to pay. Absolutely. You know, we got to eat. Absolutely. And, and some would argue you're, I you need are to my inventory. Less, but you know, <laughs> but, but a client is my. But inventory. I still got to eat, right? So exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. So if I don't get paid, it's it's no. It's like having bad inventory. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I spent hours to yeah. do something. If I'm not going to get compensated for it, those hours I could have put somewhere else. No different than if you are a store and you you have some dead stock, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it could have gone elsewhere. So do you, um, I don't do this, but I, I think I'm naive at it, right? Cause I've been at it like six months, I don't know, seven months or whatever the number is, right? Under a year. Um, do you ever take a uh, payment, like half payment up front? Um, or do you kind of, you know what, I guess, I, I guess the thing is, you know what, Phil, no. And I'll tell you why, because uh, I'm probably, I'm probably way too much like you or you're too, way too much like me in that one, I have way too high degree of trust in people. Right. Probably to a fault. I don't think there's a fault with that, but I, right. pr- let's say to a fault. Yeah. And I, if I really didn't trust you, I'm not doing anything with you. Yeah. So for me, it's it's more that I I, I pick and choose who I play with yeah. pretty carefully. Yeah. Like so, there are some yeah, people I, I pick with right now problem, right? that I know I'm not going to yeah. get paid anytime right. soon. Yeah. Am yeah. I worried? No. Yeah. Am I worried about billing them? No. Yeah. Um, am I worried that one day I, you know, you know, I, I could do 15 hours of work or 30 hours of work over the next time and get zero for it. I'm not worried about it. It may be a reality, but yeah. I don't, it's not a big deal, yeah, yeah. but it's because I like the person. See the difference when you're on our side now is I, 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 I don't have to, yeah. if I don't like you and don't yeah. trust you, I just don't have to deal with you. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Why, why would I do it? Yeah, it's, I it's totally. money. It's not, it's not, yeah. it's only money. Yeah. Yeah. I got right. why I, yeah. I'd rather sleep. I'd rather, yeah. I, I'd rather not. Yeah. I'd rather not have the anxiety. Yeah. You no, know, I just, uh, cause somebody asked me that, like it, it was a very innocent question. It wasn't, uh, you it's know, totally they were, valid question. You know, but, but they asked and I guess I had never like, honestly, truthfully, in the, you know, the six or seven months I've been doing business, I've never thought to take a partial payment up front or, you know, I just like, I think I'm like you in that sense where I strike a deal. We're, we're good to go. Um, I just assume you're paying me. They're the showing the same level of professionalism that I am, which sometimes isn't a very high bar. No, me neither, like, but that's okay. That's a whole different story. <laughs> but again, that's who I pick. As, yeah. 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 But as long as it, you know, we're kind of matched, then I'm, I'm going to go do the work in good faith that I'm going to get paid. Um, yeah. Well, okay. plus again, if I, if I was, <laughs> See, to me, it's always the same. If you're going into the deal with that kind of feeling and mentality, why are you going in the deal? But, like, but why would you deal with people that you sh- weren't yeah. sure? But, but the only thing is, pay? so, but, but the extension to the other argument is um, if, if being late on payment is like having bad inventory, when you do order inventory, you do prepay some of it up front. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I guess you could. So, I mean, I, I, I don't think anything's going to change, right? So, I, I hope I don't run into, I hope my sense of judgment doesn't change and I don't pick 
bad people that eventually stiff me. I'm sure it's going to happen in my lifetime sometime, but um, you know what I mean? Like I, I haven't I'm had it happen yet. I I, I, I'm honestly, I'm not even remotely worried yeah. about this, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one account at all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's, you know, I mean, it's a little irritating, Yeah. but again, I'm, I'm, I know my cash flow. Yeah. So all that's going to happen is that when they do start coming in, I just, you know, my bank accounts could be in a better spot than it was yesterday. Yeah. That's really the extent well, of it. It's not, you know, by the I'm time not, it arrives, you're, you're going to be in, in time to go to Italy again or uh, Portugal. See, and then it'll look like free money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, no, seriously. I mean, again, yeah. you know what? I mean, if I was like, yeah. if, if if my cash flow was a was, I mean, remember, I don't have like you. I don't have a whole swack of expenses yeah. that I need to worry about. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't buy clothes. I mean, yeah. I've got gas, but I would have had the gas anyway. Yeah, I eat a lot at home. Yeah, um, I'm not taking. Yeah. I'm not dinner. I'm not doing anything. No, so it's not yeah. like. It's not like there's this, this, you know, panic. Yeah. And man, some of that again, I mean, I, again, it's, it's really the trust thing. I'm not, yeah. if I was really worried, I would have, I would have done two months gratis and called it. Stopped. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. But I have a hundred percent faith and trust in this okay. is, 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 is going to happen. I'm not yeah. worried about it. I know it may sound bizarre, but yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, I think to me, I mean, I, I'm in the same boat. I, I don't, None of my guys I'm worried about, even the one, even the ones that like, I mean, it's been really clear, right? Cause some of them have said, you know, like the one in New Zealand said, listen, like, I don't think I can pay you. That's fine. Like, but that's fine. But then like you, you I'm to working that. with you anyway. Thank you for being upfront with me. Right. But you agree to that. Yeah. yeah I totally agree it. to it. So yeah. If you've agreed to it, it's not. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Someone like that one day. Yeah. It's going to come back. If things go well, yeah. they're going to be. Yep. If it doesn't go well, Hey, you know what? Yeah. You knew going in. Yeah. 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 Right. And, and they shouldn't feel bad about that because yeah. you're a big boy and you knew. Yeah. 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 Right. And yeah. then that to me, that's fair. Now, yeah. if they're lying to you and they were saying, well, the checks in the mail, checks in the mail, checks in the mail, and you keep working, keep working, yeah. then that's deceitful. But yeah, I doubt you're going to. Or I mean, like anything can happen. Or they really, tell me they don't have any money and then I see a Facebook post of them driving a brand new car or something. Right. Like that. Ah, I'm gonna be a little irritated, right? Well, but, that, oh, but that would be like, then, but then at that point, you say, okay, listen, you signed a thousand dollar lease payment, yeah, you yeah. just pay me the grant, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, I don't know. I think uh, if you listen to us and, and you're in this biz, um, I I definitely would want to hear any stories you have. So, if, oh, I'd love to hear what people uh, do. I mean, yeah. you know, maybe yeah. you got people thinking, oh my god, the guy's an idiot. Why would you wait so yeah. long again? Because yeah. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got I'm, others. I'm sure I we're going to get a bunch of, you, you bunch of naive idiots, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you might, but whatever. Yeah. But you, yeah, but even, yeah you know, there's mean, also a whole bunch of others that yeah. you and I both know. I mean, I do, you, you know, and you know the same, a lot of these people already yeah. is that I'm not anticipating anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm also not dedicating 70 hours a month. No. Yeah. But if it's, you know, an hour here, two hours there. Yeah. 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 No, I'm at the end of the day, if it's helping the person on me, really? Yeah. Grand scheme of life once again, eh? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. no I'm, bigger I'm things to worry about. I'm there with you. Yeah. Bigger things to worry about. Yeah. So, man. Anyway, that's where we're at. That's what I got, man. All right. That's the end of this Commerce Life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe. Like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.